Guys, before we get into today's video, just want y'all to know we are dropping a brand new, and unfortunately, this is a sample sample, but we're dropping this t-shirt in a heathered gray this upcoming Saturday. I'll throw a picture up there. And anybody who places orders from today all the way to Sunday, so if you buy this t-shirt, will be entered in to win a pair of Jordan 4 reimagines. So if you buy anything on sampleind.com from today till this Sunday that's coming up, which I believe is February 18th, I wanna say, forgive me, whatever the Sunday is, this drops on the 17th. So if you buy this t-shirt or anything else before then, your order will be entered in to somebody will win a pair of Jordan 4 reimagines. Let's get to today's video. Finally, we're getting a release of the very first book one by Devin Booker, and this is called The Book One Mirage. What's going on everybody in the building, man? We have today Devin Booker's very first shoe, The Book One, set to release on February 17th for a retail price point of $140. Believe it or not though, these are already going stupid in the secondary market. We've seen this shoe though for quite some time in different colorways, one in particular being an all orange colorway, which was a very, very limited release. They are calling this kind of more so the official first release or the general release going out to the public. And of course with All-Star Weekend, we're gonna be seeing a lot of dope shoes and this is another one in particular. I'm not gonna lie, like, it's not the best looking shoe, but it's not as bad as I initially saw it when I saw it. And I think that the colorway is what gives it, you know, gives it, a, d does the, does the justice that it needs to be done, you know? The Mirage colorway overall is a very, very nice, solid, like overall tan beige, or if you wanna call it sail, but they're calling this light or wood brown slash multicolor, and this is an eight, eight and a half. First and foremost, I know you guys are gonna be asking about the sizing. Um, these are a size eight and a half. I wear eight and a half and nine. I felt that these were pretty true to size. There was a lot of cushioning, but not nothing that was out of the ordinary. The majority of the cushioning, that extra cushioning I would say, was at the rim of the shoe around the Achilles heel as well as on the tongue. If you can see just the entrance, you know, the entrance of the shoe right there, there is a lot of padding going around on the tongue as well as on that Achilles and ankle part. The shoe though features, you know, it's kind of covering the storyline of Devin Booker, hence the name Book One. I believe it's the book chapter one is on the actual box. It says book chapter one. You got his signature there, signature model. It says it right there on there as well. And I actually like the box a little bit, something, something a little different, you know, not your typical, just basic box from Nike. They actually put some time and effort on this shoe. But the book one captures from directly from Nike's word, we'll read it from directly from what Nike says. Devin Booker's debut signature shoe, the book one Mirage, draws inspiration from his journey through his childhood to his professional career. The book one is a dream come true for not just book, but for his entire family. It's more than a shoe. It's a mirage turned reality on the court. Crafty on the hardwood and a master of the mid-range. Book's playing style is one of a kind. Designed with his game in mind, the Book One pairs a zoom air unit in the heel with a plush foam midsole to create a responsive, broken in feel from the jump, giving a nod to Book's refined style. The Book One features workwear canvas, and twill on the upper for durability while the suede collar and luxe leather overlays create a premium lifestyle look. And I gotta say for the quality, the craftsmanship, the feel on foot on how these are, you know, actually feeling and the, this overall, the whole entire shoe, it's definitely a very good shoe for its value. I mean, maybe my, maybe I'm just tripping because of how far sneakers have came along, but you know, paying $200 every time for a Jordan that is over 20, 30 years old at this time, um, it kind of is like, damn, but when you get something brand new that's more up to date on technology, up to date on the materials, you're paying only 140, it makes you really like be appreciated more, you feel me? Like overall, this is a very comfortable shoe. Uh, it does, in my opinion, still bring a lot of inspiration from the Air Force One in a way. That's what I first thought when I first saw this. Some people were saying Roshi runs as well, which I can also agree with. And uh, I don't know, I think the overall, it's a, it's a decent looking shoe. It's not as bad as I first initially thought, but is this a shoe that Tony's gonna keep? I'll be 100 and say no. Not because I don't like it, but because I just don't need it right now, you know? And that's just me being 100. On here, there's a lot of Easter eggs. There's a lot of Easter eggs on this shoe, um, on the front. 
of the pull tab, you have 96, which is the date of Devin Booker, how, you know, when his, his birth year, you got chapter one on the back right there, signifying the shoe, of course, book one on the front. On the back here, it says M2MD. I think that's a two. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get y'all a close up on that. Cause I got, I don't even think I got B roll of this. Let me just show you this one, right? And we'll figure out what this means. It seems like it says M2MD, but then it also seems, yeah, M, MMD. Like, I don't know. I gotta check that one out. Maybe mom, dad, I don't know. We'll, we're gonna look into this. Matter of fact, we're gonna look into it right now. So I actually found, salutes to Nice Kicks, I found like an actual article with Devin Booker where he talks about some of the cool details in the book. One cool nods is the pull tab that looks like a spine of a book. So I get that, 96. Any other Easter eggs on the shoe that you might not catch at a first glance? Devin Booker says, actually, the book pages on the pull tab have never been done before. So these are supposed to be like book pages, I guess more so on the inside. As you guys and girls may see, there's not just one loop, there's a couple different loops. So you got different pages in that book tab. Inside the tongue is my family's crest. So this is a family's crest that we're looking at here. See, got that right. The salutes, I'm working on it, let's get it. I actually have a tattoo of it right here. So he had a tattoo, I let each family member draw their own leather on me. So he put that in there. The barcode on the left shoe pays homage to all my hometowns. And we talked about that previously before on the previous video. And just to make sure I got everything correct, 001 of course is his jersey number, 616 is Grand Rapids where he was born, 228 is where he grew up at and went to high school at I believe Moss Point, Mississippi. And then last but not least, 602 is of course Phoenix, Arizona. And that is what is featured on the barcode on the left shoe right here. So you got a little bit of Easter eggs going throughout the shoe. That barcode is also, those numbers are featured on the box on the bottom left-hand corner. The box states book one. That's all it says on there. Quality-wise, like I said, it's pretty good. Real nice responsiveness. Good herringbone on the bottom. I'm pretty sure Nightwing wear testers will follow up with some dope, you know, actual basketball content around here. But as far as how these look, feel, they feel good. They looked decent on feet. They're not some of the best decision making, like the best shoe I'm gonna pick up first if I'm trying to, you know, get uh, out and about and, or I would say even out and about movies and all that. Like, yeah, you can, it's a definitely a very dope casual. I wore sweatpants and the actual, you know, on foot so you guys can see this more relaxed. The jeans weren't bad, the shorts weren't, I believe I did shorts as well. I mean, they weren't bad, but it's just like, I got, I would go with something else over this one at the end of the day. I do though, personally, would, I would pick up the all orange pair because I think it's all it just, it hit different. Like I think, it, I, I didn't know it was limited or none of that. So it has nothing to do with that. I just like the all orange. If they drop an all purple pair, which I think I've seen, or maybe I'm just thinking too much into it, but I would, I would cop all purple or all orange. I, I'll cop either one of those. This one is not bad. It's going for a lot. So, you know, if I was being a hype beast, I'd be like, oh, I want these, but no, this is, they're nice. They're just kind of subtle, you feel me? But. These are dropping on February 14th, $140. And uh, I like the Easter eggs behind it. And I really like what you know Devin Booker is doing. Like I said before, I really like his game. I think he's one of the closest resemblance to Kobe on the court. You know, Kobe's my favorite player. He grew up, Kobe was like his favorite player. Um, and he always, you know, shows support to him like on the court always. Like I, he definitely left a big impact on Devin Booker. And I believe his game is very similar to that as well. And uh, yeah, salute to Phoenix, Arizona. I love Phoenix. I love Arizona as well. So keep doing y'all thing. But I love y'all. I appreciate y'all as always. February 17th, 10 a.m. Nike. Uh, Soul Play will have some pairs as well. So pull up on them if you want to check it out. And uh, we'll end you guys and girls off with an on foot. And I'm out. Peace.